Hey guys, um, so this video is um, going to be posted later than what actually has been recorded, just FYI. Um, I went to the gastroenterologist and I hate that it was not a plant-based doctor, but I felt like I needed to go. Um, and it just turned out like horrid. Um, I wanted someone who would be willing to, at the very least, give me a colonoscopy to see and make sure that there's nothing wrong. And I told her that I was a plant-based vegan and that I basically ate fruits and vegetables. Um, she asked me to take a fiber supplement and I said, why when I'm got like 400% fiber for the day and I eat more fiber than like probably all of your patients. And I don't see how a fiber supplement would even help. And so she suggested that I take Miralax and I'm like, I'm already taking that. I want to figure out why I am not going to the bathroom like I'm supposed to when I eat cooked food or anything like that. So she basically played it all off as I'm not bleeding out my butt. So there's no cause for concern and that some people are just slow motility and that maybe I just need to be on one of those extreme diets. And I'm like, how much more <laughs> extreme could I be besides raw vegan? And for me, that wasn't really sustainable. Um, I mean, that, that means that I wouldn't be able to go out to eat, you know, once every couple of months or so with my family because it would send me through basically a week of hell trying to get rid of all the inflammation and all that stuff. And so I was just not happy with the results of basically being played off like I need to drink Miralax for the rest of my life every day. Um, so I am going back to raw vegan and I'm gonna try it again. My biggest thing is dinners. I need warm dinners and I just haven't found anything, I guess enough of things that I could keep going because I really, I really liked um, like the stuffed mushrooms. I liked the pizza, but it just took a little bit too long for me to prep. Um, I have to do it only on the weekends because that's when I have time. Um, I like zoodles. I'm sorry, I have stuff in my teeth because I've been munching on these, which is not good, but these are dehydrated Brussels sprouts. And they're so freaking crunchy and they're yummy. So I'm going to down my hibiscus tea with it. Um, so, yeah, I wasn't really happy with the whole thing. So I guess the only time my digestion actually worked well was when I was eating totally raw. Um, and I'm just going to have to, like, I guess buck up and go through the week of hell if I need to eat out. Um, or I'll try to like stave it off, but like I go out to eat for my, with my mom for her birthday, for my birthday and for mother's day. I'd like to go out with my husband for a date night. So we're just gonna have to like movie it up and I'll have to watch him eat the popcorn and smell it and <laughs> wish I could have some. Um, but it's just crazy that they suggested fiber, <laughs> like seriously. I was like, so you want me to take fiber? How much fiber do you want me to take? Because I have like these psyllium husks that I have to give my cat because she needs kitty fiber. And they're like, well, just take like a teaspoon. So I looked on the back and the teaspoon is like 20% of my daily recommended for RDA. I'm like, so I'm already getting 400% 400, 400 of the recommended daily dose. And you think 20 grams is gonna make that much of a difference? Right. So it was just annoying. I'll just keep trying different things, but I'm going back to raw. Um, and going to try harder to find more recipes. Um, basically binge watching all of Tanny Raw's um, stuff and seeing if I can come up with some meals that I like. I've also been Pinteresting to see if there's anything raw that I can eat. Um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Crappy trip to the gastroenterologist. Didn't really pan out to anything. She basically said because my body works on raw that there's absolutely nothing wrong inside. 
So whatever. I would have liked her to check to make sure that that was the case and that eating raw didn't just, you know, make things easier to pass through all the polyps or anything like that that could be causing me an issue because I have flank pain on the left side mostly and also on the right at the bends and I can feel the food moving across the front. And so like, you shouldn't feel your digestion. You really shouldn't. And so I don't know. I will just do the best I can on my own. I'm not a fan of putting some weird substance that is Miralax into my body unless absolutely needed. So here I go back on raw again. So I hope you all had really great holidays. Um, I hope you stayed decently compliant. <laughs> I hope that, you know, your Christmas went well and that, you know, you got to spend it with friends and family. And I'm just so thankful for all of you watching and, you know, supporting me like this and, and allowing me to share my journey with you um, because it's not all, you know, fluffy bunnies and unicorns. <laughs> In fact, it's kind of like walking through a sticker bush <laughs> multiple times and then you might get a fluffy bunny. <laughs> but... Um, it's just one of those things that, you know, people don't realize the, the struggle and how hard the journey is sometimes. So, um, I'm glad I'm able to share and I hope that anything that I have posted helps you. Um, like I said, in January, I'm supposed to start going back to school for nutrition and I have opted to get an associate's degree, um, in nutrition first and then go get a bachelor's degree and hopefully become a dietitian. And then, um, work my way that way. But I wanted to get the associate's degree first so that I actually had a degree and then I could help people um, as a holistic health practitioner while I'm earning my dietetics, you know, degree. So um, January is going to be a little more busy, but I'm hoping that I can share some of the stuff that I'm learning with you, um, whether how retarded it is <laughs> or how great it is. So this is just a regular university, so they're probably funded by a lot of the special interest groups. And so I'm just going to go through it with an open mind, a big fat grain of salt, and, you know, get my degree. And then my plan is to focus on um, whole food, plant-based, vegan for healing of um, autoimmune disorders, um, especially, and also um, heart disease and diabetes, because that's what my family has. So that's kind of my plan for January. Um, January is also Veganuary, and I will be posting recipes um, on my regular Facebook page and also in my Facebook group, Plant um, Power Healing and Health. And so if you want to pop in there, there's going to be lots of recipes. They'll be a little different than the ones on my regular wall because that's a plant-based group, and so I want it to be more compliant than kind of showing other people that they can still eat vegan and eat, I guess, junk and, and, you know, make it <laughs> that it doesn't, it isn't always fruits and vegetables. It's, you know, it can be actually very delicate and, um, decadent and dessert oriented and, you know, be awesome food, even though it might have a little more oil, sugar, salt than what my whole food plant-based vegan group would be. But I'm hoping to kind of hook some people for January and show them that, you know, it is easier than what they think. Um, and hopefully they'll decide to jump on board. So thanks so much for watching. Um, please hit subscribe. Please share it with your friends. Um, hit the little bell for notifications because I'm not sure exactly when I'll be able to post videos, but I'm going to try to be consistent. So just hit that notification bell and it'll let you know um, when I post another video. So God bless you and thank you so much for watching.